So YouTube, this is part two of Max Payne. Right where we left off. Uh, I'm really enjoying this game. I like this game a lot, like a lot, a lot. Real fun. Accents great. I hope I hope you guys can hear me with this music playing. But if not, you can hear me now. I'm sure. Turn around, walk away, blow town. That would have been the smart thing to do. Guess I wasn't that smart. Lupino's tenement buildings were a seedy hangout for all kinds of sleaze. A liquor store, a pawn shop, a laundromat full of mobster bookies and loan sharks. The list went on. The how and why of it was a mystery to me, but they knew I was a cop. They knew I was coming, and they were gonna get real trigger happy about it. I got to see Lupino's hangout all lit up. A bomb went off, turning snow into liquid gold. A pillar of fire lifted the remains of a car straight up into the air. The flames were highlighted on the hood of a black Mercedes Benz as it coasted down the street real slow, as if the driver didn't have a worry in the world. I got a good look at the man riding shotgun. It was Vladimir, the head of the local Russian mob, the fly in Don Punchinello's suit. The ringing in my ears was the sound of a mob war being waged. exploded inside the closest slum building. It was a lucky break. The goons inside were spooked, but luck always came with a price tag. More bombs could still be ticking inside, and the cops would already be on their way. Jack Lupino's suite was on the top floor. At least it used to be, before the explosive makeover. Our witness. Back in. I wonder if it's... Yep, save my guns. Yes, sir. I was nervous when I came back on the game. No lie, because I thought I lost most of my stuff because I had to select the level. And I was like, yo, what? I was like, select a level? <laughs> but it turns out I didn't have any levels I didn't already unlock. can't really enjoy the SMG yet. Wasn't this the tutorial area? Watch it. Did I go backwards? This is this where I came from, right? Shotgun I'm pretty sure this is where I came from. Oh. Alright. Gotta remember my buttons. They even save how much health I had. I wonder if once I leave this chapter, will I still have the same health and guns, or is it going to reset? Because this is still the same chapter. What? A flash. A flash. I think I died. <laughs> oh, these junkies crazy in here, bro. Gave me chills. was rigged with explosives. Oh crap. 
Bus out. You gonna open the door? Like I'm like oh wrong button. I feel like I'm exercising ghost every time I kill him, bro. The way they scream like that. Get the old Beretta's uh, back out to play. Yo, oh, shoot! Oh shoot! What? she was doing. Hold it. Yo, do they be spawning people behind me, bro? Because he was not right there. Ah. Nice try. Entrance hall was ringing. It could have been just a junkie in need of a fix, but it turned out to be something more sinister than that. Am I speaking to Mr. Payne? Who wants to know? My name is Alfred Wooden. You must hurry. The police are on their way. Tell me something I don't know. They know you're there. How? And what's it to you? I will contact you again. The cops arrived, sirens singing in the off key harmony of a manic depressive choir. I had a few minutes while the SWAT team would go through their usual routine. By the time they busted in, I needed to be long gone. Max Payne, this is Deputy Chief Jim Bravora from the NYPD. Drop your weapons and come out with your hands above your head. Crap. <clears throat> Tro, Tro, do set. I don't go crazy. Where he at? I'd never get past this door. All right, so I know I'm coming back here. Just to check, enemies are probably coming from that door. Someone had left a letter on the counter.
Suddenly it all made sense. The bombs, the Russian mob boss making an appearance in person. Gogniti was his usual self. All talk and no walk. After I hit, the Russian has only a couple of guns left and they can be bought. There's no freaking way he has the guts to try anything after that. As it turned out, the Russian had plenty of guts. One thing he could count on, you push a man too far and sooner or later he'd start pushing back. <clears throat> There's a key on the shelf. Thank you, Max Payne. They gonna come up the joints to the right. Nope. That's a surprise. Time to ruin the party. Let the gun do the talking. Ooh. For real? That's my bad. <laughs> I wonder if this game came out before GTA 3. Big mistake, buddy. <laughs> really? I'm gonna dive next time. My man's lost all his forward mo momentum when I jump. There's no way he's throwing a grenade, bro. That doesn't even look like Oh my gosh. For all the things I've been through, this is what's stopping me. Platforming. Every shooting game's a weakness. That was a checkpoint. Got aim better than that. <clears throat> Bring the 
sawed off for a ride. You right there? Nothing. Alright. Bombs had destroyed all the stairs up to Lupino's office. The alternate route led there by way of adjoining rooftops. Oh man. It's never been this cold. Never ever. It's like the sky's falling. Yes, sir. It's the end of the world as we know it. And I don't feel fine. I don't feel anything. Not a thing. I'm freezing my butt off. I'll leave him alone. To get to the roof, I'd need to get to the elevator through the locked door up ahead. Pizza delivery. Never seen you before. Buzz off, Joker. Pizza delivery. <laughs> You're over there sneezing, bro. They this game predicted the virus, bro. That's what happened when y'all talk like that. Y'all homeless dudes need to chill out. Dude, these rats so big, they pushing me, bro. I can't walk past. Look! It's definitely New York. at the laundry. Me? No. You're no good to me then. What? No, no, no. The laundry. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Get me in there. Okay, okay, okay. Should have blast you right now. These rats. Somebody when they was making this game just went crazy with the rat spawner. This 
game could have been on the N64, no lie. <laughs> It's me! Open up! Let me in, quick! Not so fast. The password. John Who? Come on. Okay, John Who. All right. Come right in. It's a trap! It's... It's... Oh! Oh! Dummy. <laughs> Chuck got in here. <laughs> Work on your aim, bro. Man, why is that washing machine so low? Truly, truly a masterpiece. This game did age well. You know, a lot of games don't age well, but this game, I say it did very well. <laughs> hey, bro, you sat on this toilet? Are you used this? City is in crisis tonight, with reports of Valkyrie-related gang war in the streets of the Bronx. Apparently, Max Payne, wanted for questioning in connection with the slaying of a DEA special agent earlier tonight, is waging a one-man war against his former partners in crime. Among the list of casualties so far are notorious Mafia members Joey and Virgilio Finito, as well as Rico Muerte, himself a fugitive from the law and a suspect for several murders in the Chicago area. The NYPD has been placed on full alert. A citywide APB has been put out on Max Payne. Deputy Chief Jim Rivera has promised to take whatever steps necessary to bring him to justice. What those steps may be remains to be seen. For NY CNN TV News, this is Kira Silver. Man! They keep blaming it on me like I killed Alice. I ain't do that. Tired of it. Where we going now? Was I supposed to come back down? I don't think so. Was there a window I could go through? Because I didn't see a window. made it this far please like the video please pray for me too I'm, I'm losing my mom playing this game going the wrong way and stuff but, you know it is what it is yep there's a whole window there. unknown I don't want to go there oh my gosh bro but that's where I always end up anyway 
only it's not me talking to the pink flamingo, but someone who looks the part down. Shut the up. <sighs> it's me. Open up. This Let me in quick. Not so fast. The password. John who? Come on. Okay, John who? All right. Come right in. It's a trap! Hey. <laughs> It's not my fault, bro. It sticks so sensitive, bro. He has no walk, bro. I wish he had a walk. If he had a walk, it would be so much easier. But I think it's because this game is a PC game, really. That he has no walk. Nobody thought about stick thresholds and all that type of stuff because the game. gave me a checkpoint right here. <laughs> Yo, what? Oh my gosh. I wasn't even holding left. It's me. Open up. Let me in quick. Not so fast. The password. John who? Come on. Okay, John Woo. All right. Come right in. It's a trap! Ah! Ah! All right, let's be rolling. Ah! Rolling, but you ain't doing nothing, bro. Get up. Jumping on a pipe. talking to the pink flamingo but someone who looks the part down to the finest detail except that he's evil i'm hiding in the shadows watching it all unfold the flamingo speaks he can speak here it says mirrors are more fun than television that's mirrors are more fun than television somehow i know this just don't ask me how <laughs> and i not me, but my double. Nods and smirks at this, like it was the funniest thing in the world. And then something goes wrong. And suddenly they know I'm there, hiding behind them, and they both turn to look at me with cold eyes. And the flamingo speaks again. I have no idea what that means. And that's when I always wake up to my own scream in that bright lily white hospital room, 
strapped to my bed. Okay. Just wanted you guys to enjoy that. Alright, where are we going next? Another pipe. I haven't gotten a checkpoint yet. I just wanna I would I just want y'all to know that. Imagine if I walked up to him and died because of that. Oh, that works. I thought somebody was trying to open the door though. Why is this place rigged with bombs? Vinny got needy. Just the man I've been killing to see. Pain? Freaking fed! I knew from day one there was something screwy about you. What do you think you're doing? You're a freaking cop. You ain't got squat on us. You can't just come in here waving your piece like it meant something. I made like cherry on fat. A crumpled letter lay on Gagnetti's desk. See how they look. The letter was addressed to Don Punchinello, but Vinny had never had the nerve to finish it. Jack's gone voodoo. Just the other night, he shot Dino because he wanted to see what his brains looked like splattered on the wall. He's a freaking mad dog. We're running out of men and business fast. Gagnetti had been living in mortal fear of his boss. Jack Lupino was a psycho. You see how in the cutscene? Uh, God needy how the dudes look like PlayStation dudes. Well, yeah, PS1 dudes. Why they had the real actors from Max Payne and him. Vinny Gogniti was running scared. He could run, but with a bullet in the stomach like a broken bottle of Tabasco, he was quickly running out of time. He knew where his boss was, and I wanted to square things up with Jack Lupino. Cognitive would be moving fast. I don't know about angels, but it's fear that gives men wings.
cow. Got needy hitched a ride. To catch him, I'd have to follow his lead. Alright then. Oh! I missed it. Damn. I seen the same thing happen to Chase Money, so I don't feel that bad. How far are they gonna start me back though? It's loading, that's a little scary. Yep. Crumpled letter lay on Gagnetti's desk. I hate that, bro. Like I had the perfect, the perfect Maybe run. Gagnetti was running scared. Die from he something could stupid. Run, had to restart. His stomach like a broken bottle of Tabasco. He was quickly running out of time. He knew where his boss was, and I wanted to square things up with Jack Lupino. Cognito would be moving fast. I don't know about angels, but it's fear that gives men wings. You might have to follow his lead. I got an idea. What? What? Come on. This is stupid. I don't know what, bro. I'm holding four, he just stops midair like he lost all momentum. Letter lay on Gagnetti's desk. Vinny Gagnetti was getting scared. He could run, but with a bullet in his stomach like a broken bottle of Tabasco, he was quickly running out of time. He knew where his boss was, and I wanted to square things up with Jack Lupino. Gagnetti would be moving fast. I don't know about angels, but it's fear that gives men wings. Gagnetti hitched a ride. To catch him, I'd have to follow his lead. Oh my gosh. I missed anyways. Alright. Almost got cheesed out again. This was my second train ride of the night. The way it started didn't promise anything better than the last one. Freezing wind tearing at my face like sandpaper and razors. Ice hard and slick under my hands and feet. And somewhere in the background, the wail of sirens. The city howling after me. New York sped by and fast forward. Dark rooftop water towers and the dead forest of antennas and chimneys, all a blur. When the train he was riding slowed down, Gagnetti made his move. Yeah, right. 
How many times y'all think I'm gonna die on that jump? This was when the train he was riding slowed down. Cognini made his move. No sense how a man gets that got shot in his <sighs> when the train he was riding slowed down, Cognitti made his move.
Say, where's the hoop on the basketball court? <laughs> I didn't even notice there was a gun up there. Max Payne has nowhere left to go. We are very close to capturing him. You'll get a full statement then. Right now, I've got better things to do, ma'am. That was Deputy Chief Jim Rivera from the NYPD with no further comment at this time. Apart from his suspicious food habits, I figured Bravora to be one of the good guys. Fate had just dropped us on different sides in this. But when it came to capturing me, he was way out of his league. I had already ditched the cops a couple of rooftops back. For now.
damn it! Pain! I'll kill you, you lousy freaking cop! I didn't get hit by that grenade. so much damage early. I think I got hit by that set, that grenade right there. Gagnetti ran out of steam in a dead-end alley with steam boiling out of the sewer grates like all the fires of hell were burning high beneath us. It was shakedown time. Where's Lupino? Screw you! Bad start, Vinny. Ah! Police brutality! I rate pretty high on that. You, 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 you can't just hurt me in cold blood? Uh, just keep telling yourself that. <gasps> Listen good, candy man. I'm not going to be anybody's fall guy. I want to know where your boss is hiding. There was no glory in this. I hadn't asked for this crap. Trouble had come to me in big dark swarms. The good and the just were like gold dust in the city. I had no illusions. I was not one of them. I was no hero. Just me and the gun and the crook. My options had decreased to a singular course. I'll tell you, just don't hurt me no more. Lupino's at Ragnarok, the nightclub. Book me, take me in the home into the freaking jail, just don't hurt me. Your rights will be read at your funeral. Ragnarok was Lupino's private nightclub, a den of drugs built into an old theater. I knew what waited inside. V had junkies ready to explode in random acts of senseless violence, and Lupino's goon squad, the worst stone cold killers this side of hell. Ragnarok was as inviting as a headache, flickering and flashing to a machine gun beat. 
The belly of a nightclub was a gothic theme park that began with bondage games and led to the nasty stuff from there. As subtle with its dark message as a cop killer bullet through the heart. Like father, like son. Just like Jack Lupino. I know. setting I was surprised to find that somebody had been passing time reading. The paperback was entitled The Age of Murder and Storm. The blurb on the back mentioned Norse mythos and Ragnarok, the end of a Viking world with a terrible winter that covered the earth in ice, when vile crimes were rampant and all humanity lost. I could see how somebody impressionable might get it into their head that we were at the end of time. I was also beginning to see what the nightclub and its owner were all about. Seller. Outfits on, bro. Books on the occult had been piled on the table. The room was stacked with light reading, such as Necronomicon, Witchcraft, and Paradise Lost. Old exotic titles like Malleus Malficarum and De Umbrarum Rainy Novum Portis. Books with pentagrams on their covers, all dealing with the occult and the infernal. Lying between stacks of horror videos and a couple of Ouija boards. The only thing I could take seriously was the thought of Lupino taking it seriously. He had been spending a lot of time getting intimate with the guy downstairs.
What would Dino and all? I wouldn't say anything to his face. He might not... Who knows what he'd do? Yeah, but somebody's gotta go in there. It's too freaky. All the screaming. I mean, it's been three days now. Don't look at me. Hell no, I, I ain't got no death wish. Well, I'm just saying it. Gives me the creeps, especially now. It's gone all quiet in there. camera angles. Shotguns do damage in this game, bro. I take so much damage. Are they serious? Oh yeah, that's bullshit, right? <sighs> Put that in. What would Dino and all? I wouldn't say anything to his face. It's pain! Who made that? I just want to know. <laughs> so, can I save? Is there any way to save?
since the last time I seen her. They try to set me up, bro. Pick up the painkillers and they spawn dudes behind me. Karaoke never was my scene. quiet. to stream if you if you're new like up if you have the backstage area led to lupino's inner sanctum the hot air inside was like an invisible wall thick with incense and something else a sickly sweet smell that made you gag this was the rotten core of the big apple lupino lurked somewhere ahead like a spider at the center of his web waiting the vapors in the air started to make my head swim Torn pieces of a letter lay scattered on the sofa. Punchinello had threatened Lupino in writing. The note had been torn to pieces, bloody fingerprints all over them. Don't want you to think that one of my boys is not playing with a full deck. Shape up, Jack. We are running a business here. I'd hate to send the trio to strong arm you. The trio were the Don's notorious henchmen. It was obvious that Lupino hadn't been intimidated by the threat. Lupino's notes covered the table. Jack Lupino was crazy, all right. The table was scattered with notes of demented arcane nonsense written in rusty blood. A mishmash list of demons, devils, and dark gods evoked. Beelzebub! Asmodeus! Baphomet! Lucifer! Loki! Chitulu! Lilith! Hela! Blood given to you all. He was after that old Faustian deal. Your soul for power and fortune. Just sign on the dotted line with your blood. Lupino's notebook lay on the pedestal. Called out every bad guy for power. Jack Lupino was crazy, all right. Mythic wolves let loose to devour the sun and the moon. Lupino is the wolf. I'm Mr. Beast, the big bad Fenris wolf. I'm the end of the world man, wearing the flesh of fallen angels. After Y2K, the end of the world had become a cliche. But who was I to talk? A brooding underdog Avenger alone against an empire of evil, out to right a grave injustice. Everything was subjective. There were only personal apocalypses. Nothing is a cliche when it's happening to you. The flesh of fallen angels! Come to me all! Astaroth, Beelzebub, Asmodeus, Baphomet, Lucifer, Loki, Satan, Chitulu, Lilith, Ella! Blood to you all! Secret. 
living under the skin of reality. Oh my gosh, I walk straight. I walk in a straight line. <laughs> There'd have to be a catch in it somewhere, and this one was the Empire State Building of catches. Levino was pumped up and dying to go 15 rounds with a mutant alligator. And then he started this spooky monkey talk, straight from a bad dream. Mine. I have tasted the flesh of fallen angels. I've tasted the devil's green blood. It runs in my veins. I've seen beyond a world of skin. The architecture of blood and bone arrow! Death is coming! She is coming, and hell follows with her. This is the twilight winter. I am ready to be her son. Her time is now, and all who stand in her way must die! <laughs> <laughs> You'll die! You'll <laughs> die! Now! Oh! Die! I don't know what I got hit by.
This was the rotten core of the Big Apple. Lupino lurked somewhere ahead, like a spider at the center of his web, waiting. The vapors in the air started to make my head swim. The flesh of fallen angels! Come to me all! Astaroth, Beelzebub, Asmodeus, Baphomet, Lucifer, Loki, Satan, Jadulu, Lilith, Ella! Blood to you all! Secret, living under the skin of reality. I've seen it. The corruption of flesh! You'll die! You'll die! Now! Oh! Die! Oh! When Lupino finally went down, I wanted to make real sure he'd stay that way. V was a bad monster, turned them into friggin' zombie demons from outer space. I think he's dead already. Huh? And that's when it happened. But dead or not, you've got the wrong guy. In stepped this knockout femme fatale holding a gun to my face. I returned the favor. Lisa Punchinello. Lisa Punchinello was the Don's wife. Mona Sachs. Lisa's evil twin. Your safety's off, evil twin. You might hurt someone with that gun of yours. Lisa's the damsel in distress. I'm the professional. I'd blow you away without batting an eye. Sure. And you can check out my credentials splattered all over this joint. Jack couldn't have framed you. Not the state he was in. We're after the same slime bag. Angelo Quincinello is the one who murdered your friend and framed you with it. You know this for a fact. I've got my sources. I don't have a clue these days. I just shoot them as they come. Who put a contract on the Archfiend? This one's mine. I hate the guts of that sadistic wife-beater. Why not pool our bullets for this one? I thought you'd never ask. My finger was starting to twitch. How do you like your whiskey? Easy, as long as you don't.
don't try to slip me a Mickey. You're a real angel, Max. It was good stuff. Tasted sweet as honey going down. Nothing personal. Can't risk you going berserk and getting Lisa killed. <sighs> wow. The nightmare was always the same. Violent shapes moving in darkness, old and ugly. The killer's mad laughter was a riddle filled with wicked innuendo. Somewhere, the baby was crying. What is going on? Yo. you snoring next to Lupino's corpse. A comedian. The pictures were filled with good old times. Definitely don't like this part. This game likes to make you walk in straight, straight lines when it's very difficult to do.
get out of this.
No. No, no, please God, no. Blow them to bits, vaporize them, disintegrate them. No matter what you do, they'll still be back. Good as new. Michelle's diary lay on the table. You know how tilted I'm so, I'm so salty. Michelle was working part time in the district attorney's office. Her diary was open on today's entry, her handwriting all pretty curves. An army dossier found its way to my desk yesterday. Valhalla? Isn't that a Norse myth? Something about Vikings? I tried to tell Max about it, but he was busy. That cute frown on his brow. Guess it's nothing. Just a mix-up at the courier service. From now on, I would always find time for her. It was a hollow promise. Too little, too late. Size is too small for my brain. Max Payne. I envy your name. And the killer was smiling. Pleased to meet you. I'm Frankie to Bat Niagara. Niagara, as in you cry a lot? He had a baseball bat and I was tied to a chair. Pissing him off was the smart thing to do. Cartoon violence is a fascinating thing. Let's take a break. I need to take a leak and maybe grab a cold one at the bar. Don't worry. I'll be back to finish this off. And then, it's checkout time. You play, you pay, you bastard. He swaggered out, and the door clanged shut behind him, locks clicking into place. Everyone makes mistakes. Mine hadn't been to crack jokes about the goon with the bat. He'd have cracked my skull regardless. It hadn't even been to trust a girl with a gun. I had blindly gone after the first bad guy on my hit list when I should have been aiming further up the ladder, at the head of the Punchinello family. I couldn't bring myself to be pissed at Mona. Guess I had a soft spot for a pretty face. When somebody decides to play baseball with your head, you tend to get sore. They went to the basement of Lupino's hotel. I was beaten, bruised, and blue. I felt like the chair I had broken to get free. All I had was Niagara's bat, sticky with my own blood. Alright guys, I'm in this part here. Story getting crazy. Mad crazy. But I hope you guys enjoy it. You made this far light. Subscribe if you haven't. And I'm out. Peace.